Hey guys, Locks and Load here. Well, it's that time of year again. About every six months or so, I like to do a video on my EDC kit. This being January 2018, this is going to be my EDC kit starting off January 2018 and what I'm carrying. And of course, I don't carry all this at the same time, that's too much crap. But I do like to alternate depending on where I'm going, how long I'm going to be there and where is that, what kind of area, so a number of factors depending. So we're going to get right into it. Everyone likes to see the gun, so I'm going to do that last so you guys watch the video. Starting off, got your basic wallet, nothing special. Got your no frills pockets, just holds your money and your cards. That's your wallet. Quick and easy. Alright, again, quick and easy. Shades, you want to protect your eyes. The sun's your eyes, you can't see as well. And again, at night, you don't want to wear shades because you can't see. Always have your awareness. Alright. Got your car keys. And what I like to do with my car keys is that I have this S1 baton O-light. If it focus. Focus? No? Okay. Well, you have to take my word for it. But this is the S1 uh, baton O light flashlight. Uh, real good. Uh, it has a magnetic bottom. So it's good. Uh, let's say if it's at night and you got to get on your car, or, you know, clear a hole in your tire, what you can do is take this bottom and mount it uh, on the inner wheel of your car or wherever you need to. And you can mount it at an angle and use the flashlight to be able to see what you're doing or what you're working on. So, always keep this on here. This is coming handy so many times I can't even explain it. But this is my primary go-to flashlight. The Olight S1 Baton. These are the car keys. Alright, on the flashlights, I got this flashlight right here. It was sent to me by, uh, by a fan. It's the LightSam PS11 flashlight. I did a review on this flashlight, but this is more of a heavy duty flashlight you can put in your pocket, but I like to, when I'm working sometimes, keep it in this case where it has this loop, and you can web it through your belt and carry it on your hip. And I'll do that sometimes when I'm working at the bar, because you know it's dark and I need to see. Uh, it's got a little bezel on the front. So, you know, in case you got to hit somebody with it, you can. It's got several modes of lumens. This is the 1380 lumens, the, most, the highest setting. This is the lowest one. I think it's like 30 or something. This is 300. And then, if you need to. So, I have this flashlight. I don't carry it with me all the time. But when I do, you know, I'll carry it on my hip. And of course, with all those lumens, 13980 lumens, you can see a lot of things. So that is my LightSam PS11 flashlight. All right, on the knives. Still carry this knife. I think I've had this knife for damn near a year. It was sent to me by Something Southern. Uh, check out his YouTube channel. And I still carry this knife. This is work very well, works at the bar, works at uh, my warehouse job, uh, works around the house, works on the range. Oh, utility knife right here, this thing just does everything. If you can see, uh, it would focus. Guess not, Cam doesn't want to work today. Anyway, it's got this texturing on here. It almost feels like if you own a Taurus PT-111, that kind of a grip feel. And if you like that, then this knife is for you. Also, sometimes, that's my primary knife. This is the primary knife I carry the most. For a heavier duty knife, something, this is the knife I keep on my vest. And is this bench made knife. It says a heavy duty knife. 
bigger than it. See, it's a little bigger than my Kershaw blade. But this is a heavy duty knife, whereas this Kershaw, it has a uh, little lip out here so you can push it out. This one doesn't. You just simply push and bring it out. And it's got the little rod on the back so you can fold it in your knife. I don't carry this too much when it comes to weight. <clears throat> this is very light. This one is kind of heavy. It's got almost feels like I'm carrying a spare magazine with this knife. So I don't carry it with me too often, but I do have it, you know, just in case I can't find this or I don't carry this or I don't mind carrying the extra weight. So these are my two knives and my EDC kit. Hey guys, Locks and Load here. If you get looking for a chance to win some cool stuff, Check out 21 Sports Tactical. Swing by this store, use the code LOCKS AND LOAD. You can save 15% off any order off their website. At the same time, if you go to 3H Tactical's website, use the same code LOCKS AND LOAD, you will save 5% off any order of their website. Thirdly, if you guys like the gun grips I did for gungrips.net, if you go down to the website, Pick out a pistol that I found in the lineup and get a custom made gun grip. Use the code LYLES, all lowercase, you can save $5 off your order. So swing by guys, use those codes, and save you some money. Alright. Well, on to the fun part. The guns. Alright, so, I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with this one. This is my Glock 19. No magazine. Clear. Safe. Uh, Gen 5, Glock 19. Hashtag no finger grooves. Uh, awesome pistol. You know, it's a Glock, so I'm not gonna really toot his horn like it's something amazing. It's a Glock. It gets the job done. Simple as that. That's all I needed to do. Uh, 9 mil holds 15 rounds. And I'll carry it sometimes in this Bradford concealment holster inside the waistband that I got at GT Distributors. Uh, I'm gonna have a custom holster made for this, but this was just a quick $36 holster just to have one so I can carry my Glock uh, appendix. These are one of my, uh, one thing I love about holsters, on my holsters are these clips. These clips are amazing. If I could have it on every one of my holsters, I would. Simple Kydex, goes in real nice, has a sweat guard. And I got sweats on, but I'll carry appendix style. And this one I got is outside of the waistband holster for a Glock 19 I had made by Bullseye Holsters here in Jacksonville, Florida. And this is outside the waistband. Uh, if you follow my Instagram and my Facebook, no, there was like three or four days where I was, I guess, trying out the outside the waistband carry. Uh, it's cool. It's a little awkward if you know if you're like me, used to appendix carrying and getting in a car. You know, just having that thing on your hip right there. But you know, it's not that bad. It's doable. It's just a simple carbon fiber holster. Uh, I wear this to the range. Uh, all that. That's this. This is my outside the waistband holster. I am. I don't carry outside the waistband too much. I'm kind of skinny, so I can get away with appendix. But if I'm wearing a jacket or something, then you know, outside the waistband is pretty cool. And you know, I carry a mag, 15 rounds in my Glock with a round in the chamber, giving me 16 rounds. And I'll carry a backup magazine, 15 rounds, in my Wilder Tactical Universal magazine pouch. Again, I'll carry that inside the waistband, or if I'm out the range, just flip it around. I'll carry it outside the waistband. But you know, I fits in my whole uh, little magazine pouch. Again, appendix style, so I got my Glock. So it's like I got my Glock all right here. Now I'll carry that appendix style. Alright, 
the handgun I carry the most. If you follow my channel, this gun has been on a lot of my videos. I carry it in this Concealment Express holster I got off Amazon. Again, another $30 holster that gets the job done. And what I'm talking about, guys, is the PT-111. The Taurus PT-111. 9mm holds 12 rounds with one in the chamber, giving you 13. Uh, 9 mil, like I said, if I didn't say, I don't know. But yeah, got the cheap holster, and this holster is my custom made holster by 77 Solutions. You guys should totally check him out. Get a holster made by him, he does great work. Anyway, here it is. This is my custom holster, the minimalist, minimalist uh, appendix carry holster. Carries my Taurus PT-111 and a spare magazine. I got it green, black, well, red, black, and green. RBG, like the flag. And I carry this, again, appendix style. It's got the little claw. And it really does keep the gun pressed against your body. And it really does aid in concealment. Because like me, when I appendix, sometimes the pistol grip will sometimes stick out of my shirt. You can't really tell, but no, me, I can see it. So I think everybody else can see it. So this and this little claw really does help keep it close against my body so it doesn't stick out as much. I'm not gonna lie, this is honestly one of my favorite holsters to, to wear, especially when I'm driving. This thing is very comfortable. Like I really don't feel it. Like sometimes with like these cheap made holsters, they're all right, you know, gets the job done. But this is really nice, really comfortable. You know, I can get my draw out, you know, and carry a spare mag at the same time. Uh, again, you know, if I'm not carrying that holster, this 77 Solutions holster, what I will do, almost the same way with the Glock, is that, You know, I got my cheap Sealman Express holster and I got this mag and I'll carry appendix just like that. Well guys, that is my EDC. Oh, what? Forgot to tell you guys. Uh, for the Taurus PT-111, I will carry the Telos G2 uh, 92 grain plus P ammunition. Uh, am I such a huge fan of this ammunition? Not really. It just, they send it to me for free and it works in my Taurus. But it does not work in my Canic TP9 SF Elite. And I don't think it works in my Glock 19. Uh, for some reason, I don't think there's enough powder or power in these rounds to uh, reliably cycle the slide back and chamber the next round. With my Canic, sometimes it would just fire the round and the slide wouldn't even move back at all. It, I just have to pull it out and take out the spent round. But in my Taurus PT-111, it works fine, no hiccups. So, you know, Tello sent it to me, so I'm using it. And for my Glock, or, you know, my Canic whenever I get a holster for it, it will be the try, tested, and true, to me, one of the greatest hollow points out there, Federal HST 124 grain. These things are my favorite hollow point ammunition to get. They work well. They have a great tracker record. Uh, it's cheap. You can get them at Walmart. You can get them at GT Distributors. Again, if you you guys you guys gotta follow me on Instagram. <laughs> but if you've seen my Instagram or my Facebook. You know, I can go to GT Distributors here in Florida, in Jacksonville, and get 50 rounds of Federal HST 124 grains for $19.99. So with those prices, I'm not going to argue. This is my favorite hollow point ammunition to carry. And, oh yeah, sometimes, you know, if I really go into a bad area and I really want to conceal or carry something. No, I'm just playing with you. <laughs> but anyway, guys. Uh, that's the video. 
Uh, check out the VanQuest. I carry this a lot too, almost every damn day. Great bag, amazing bag. I did a video on it, so check that out. I'm not going to talk about it here. But amazing bag and it works. Uh. Oh, yeah. Gun belt. Uh, still same Velcro gun belt I've been wearing for, I think, the entire time I started this channel. Again, uh, I guess if you guys really want to know, that's what it is. To be honest, I didn't buy this belt. I went in my dad's closet because, you know, he's ex-Navy too, like me. And I just took a gun belt, you know, put a holster on it. Hey, it carries my uh, Taurus fine, so I just rocked with it. And, you know, it was fine. You know, if you watch a lot of my videos, you know, I'm wearing this belt pretty much. Anytime you see me shooting, I got this belt on. So when I got my pistol on there or my magazines for my pistol, my rifle, this is on this belt and it holds it up fine. So I guess I got a lucky find in my dad's closet. But you don't always want to cheap out. You want to get something good and decent. So I went out and got me a legitimate belt. You can see how thick it is from Eagle Leather Goods. Uh, great quality. Love the belt. Made of leather. Uh, owner, I know the owner. He's a great guy. So definitely, definitely I will. I'm going to buy another belt from him. I think in all black this time. But these belts work great. Uh, if you watched my Blackstone video I did like a week or two ago, I was wearing this belt. And this belt is very comfortable. Very thick, sturdy. You know, you're not you're not gonna really bend this belt. Yeah, you're yeah, you're not gonna bend that belt. Works great for uh, holsters, firearms, magazines, all that stuff, carrying weight. Great leather belt, and I would be getting more. Uh, eventually, I'll do a video on this. But Eagle Leather Goods, check them out. Okay, I think that is finally it. I keep saying, hey, that's it, and I remember something else. And that is it. Yeah, that's that's it, guys. That's that's all the stuff for my EDC kit uh, for 2018. You know, I got several other videos, so you can kind of see what I've added and what I've taken away. Some things have stayed consistent through all my EDC kits, like my belt, uh, my Taurus, and uh, my Kearshaw knife. And that's what works for me. I don't need too much junk. Lily, when I leave the house, you know, I got my phone, my wallet, my keys, uh, my knife if I feel like I need it, and a pistol with a spare mag if I feel like I need a spare mag. Sometimes I'll just carry a lot. But that's what I carry. It works for me. Uh, if you guys like it, Please give me a thumbs up. Uh, comment in the video. Uh, I'd like to hear some of y'all's feedback. Uh, please positive feedback because I, I get a lot of uh, internet ninjas. Those uh, keyboard uh, operators that know everything. But it's funny though. That's it. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Really, follow me on Instagram. I'll be posting live stuff. My Instagram lit. <laughs> but all in all, guys, stay safe. Locks and load out.